This playthrough is rated T for teen. Oh, sorry about that, folks. You just caught me in the middle of something, just wiping the blood off my hands. Greetings and salutations, viewers. Well, I'm back here with another episode of Arc the Lad 2. In the last episode, we went at Palencia Tower, but not before Tosh tried to go up ahead of, ahead of us, and he only made it one floor before he needed help. I don't know how that works, at being little 80 and whatnot, but uh, what do I know, right? So, anyway, we got to go through this place, so let's uh, take a look around before we leave. Oh, what's this? A switch. It opens the door, he says. Uh -huh. <clears throat> oh, and by the way, during that fight with those creatures, it was just more of the ones we fought before, zombies and all that. Uh, if you walk through any of the teleporters, they'll teleport you to another side of the room, which is an interesting little mechanic, but uh, other than that, not much else to it. Hmm. An escalator that goes nowhere. Okay, and no switch. All right, well, then let's get go the right way out of this room. There we go. All right, made ourselves to 36 floor. We're getting closer. Escalator won't move, huh? Yeah. Odd. Well then, we figured a way out of here, but not, uh, but not the right path. Yeah, let's try this one then. No, just any of those will take us to the right, right door. Okay. Well then, what about this one? Oh, they all, all three of those take you, take you there. Okay. Well then, I see how that is. Hmm. Okay, yeah, it won't move. We need to find a. Let's see, I'm trying to remember where that. Because in that room, I think we had to go back a previous floor. I think because we hit that switch, and that was, yeah, a stairway. So it had to be from the. Well, no, I guess it would be 36, wouldn't it? Because, oh. Okay. Let's see what going back down does for that. I think I... I thought I went through all the rooms already. No, I got that one from before. Decisions, decisions. Where do we go? Where do we go from here? Which way up is which way down? Okay, I just remembered I had to take a quick I had to take a quick look at my map just to figure out where to where to go to next. And I remember there being a room on the thirty fourth floor that uh whoops, that had a um a teleporter we could go to, but it, it was like blocked off or something like that, so Southern. Oh, whoops, I'm going. Okay, so it is. Let's try. Oops. Yeah, I think it was this way that uh, we couldn't go to before, or I skipped it because I didn't. I knew there wasn't anything that way, so. Ah, there we go. Yep. I thought I was like, hmm. There it is, the room. Haha. -ha. Yeah, I just had to. You know, when you take breaks in between episodes, sometimes you forget, like, little details. And we run into a battle with the switch! The enemy doesn't know the power of the switch, which, you know, uh, the, the power I get for one to flip a switch, so they can't. You, you know what I mean, viewers. Anyway, let's flip the switch. Haha. -ha. Now it moves. That's what it wanted. Indeed, inspiration. And a switch to be told to go in the right direction. So, All right, let's make him right back. So yeah, this this uh, dungeon does have quite a few, like, you know, kind of go back to an old area, but nothing too complicated. Just as long as you're paying attention. Or if you play this back-to-back, -back, unlike myself, where I split it up into different, different play sections, so sometimes you forget, like, what you did the episode before. You know, it was all like a fever dream to me. Uh, it's like when I play all games, really. But anyway, let's head back. Oh, right. Switch. Switch to the escalator, man. Gotta go the right way. 
I know what we're doing. Man, how many floors are there to this place? Man, good thing we don't have to climb all the floors. It lets us skip some, unlike Fall Phase 7. Actually, technically, you can skip it. You just have to, uh, um, you just have to not do the stair, the side of the stairway and just have to go, eh, I'll fight everyone on my way here. Whatever. You know. I always thought that was an interesting choice. I think the first time I played, I did do the stairwell because I thought that would, like, you know, the whole non-violent act would be better. But what the? You can't be real zombies. Zombies don't know how to use escalators. Now, robots, they can use escalators. Do I know how to use an escalator? And they tried to split us up by going through different escalators, but we split up our own party and beat them. Because, you know, that's just how it is, so. All right, anyway, after we beat those guys, so let's see, we were popped in from there. So we got a couple of escalators. And then we've got a doorway, which is not a good doorway. So stairs, let's go up the stairs. 38th floor. I'm scared it's dark on there, so. Let's see what these escalators take us. No. Well, this one takes us down one. Ah, for some treasure, even. All right, what do we got here? Crescent Axe. We got a Dragon Katana. All right, let's take a look at those, see if those are worth anything. Let's see. Uh, do, do, do. Crescent Axe. Wow, not bad at all. 44, up to 44 damage. It's light elemental, and it can increase your counterattack and get up to 44. There we go. We'll take, we'll equip that. Let's see, the Dragon Katana. Let's see what that one's got uh, no effects uh, 36 actually it's not bad if you didn't have the platinum edge uh, and it's earth elemental platinum edge is probably better just because it's non elemental but that's up to you but uh, eh, not bad if you didn't have any of the other stuff so we'll take that yep. oh right gotta flip the switch I flip the switch all right well we did that now let's uh, go over this one right there, flip that over. What is, where does this take us? Ah. Nowhere. Boo. Oh well, not all of them can be winners. Yeah, I actually forgot that one was an empty room. Oh well. Alright, let's go up this way now. Hmm. Hmm. Well, only the switch, huh? What's it this do? Hey, it's on. And we turned on the lights. It's like those old flickering light bulbs. You're not sure it's going to work or not. The elevator's working. Yeah, we can go back to the elevator then. Huh. And that's it. Huh, I wonder though. I wonder if I could press this a few more times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, sorry, I had to, it said something about accessing a new part of the ele elevator. Sorry, if you hit that switch nine more times, it accesses another room. And then if you hit this switch, uh, nine, nine, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 44th level ex ex express elevator. Now that floor, the 44th, doesn't, we don't need to go to that one. It just takes us to a battle. But the previous one before said the 77th level, I believe, is what it said. I just accidentally pressed the button too fast. Yeah, it's like a... I'm not even sure how you're supposed to know to do that. Like, I don't think there's any line of dialogue anywhere that says, hey, you need to press this thing nine times to uh, go somewhere, you know. But... Mm. But anyway, let's go to the... Yeah, let's skip the 44th floor. So let's go to the 77th floor. Yeah, and, we can, and that one switch took would have taken us to the 99th floor. So yeah, this place is pretty short when it comes to that. But there's a reason why we want to go to the 77th floor. As soon as the cutscene goes, uh, uh, the elevator is done. So anyway, yeah, we get the treasure room in this place. So let's let's grab all this precious treasure. Oh, uh, magic leaf. Hold on. I could use them. Oh no, those are magic sprigs, right? Uh, I didn't realize those was actually out of out of room. Hmm. Could drop a magic apple. Ugh. Yeah, I thought I I thought I killed most of the stuff uh, in my 
inventory before coming here because I knew I was going to grab quite a few things. I could drop... I don't have to sell the battle axe. I could drop it. No one else on my team uses it. Or we could drop the zebra axe. That does... The only reason I'm keeping the drowned axe is there's something that can be combined with it. Hmm. Uh, yeah, let's just use like a life net or something like that. Uh, let's see. Tosh is a bit behind on HP. Could do that with maybe Iga. And yeah, Gogan's pretty low too, and he's at 70, so. Yeah, let's do Gogan. Why not? I guess it's a little extra. Magic leave, but now we have to think of something else to get rid of. The Wind Wonder card. And that is, uh, we'll leave that for now. Let's see, this one is Revival Dust. I actually, you know, I actually kind of want to have a magic... Oh, right, I forgot I had some items that I don't need, like magic nettles and stuff like that. Uh, is that... Oh, yeah, the stone... Oh, yeah, we have to keep a stone. All right. I was actually going to say, like, let's actually keep a revival distance in case Diga dies or some of that. Let's see what the Wind Wonder card gives us, though. The Wind Wonder Wonder. Wibbly Wonder Board. Well, she can't equip it. Well, who can equip it? It's a card. The weirdness, the weirdness pertains itself. She cannot access the Wind Wonder card. But why? Now we got a parade coat. No, I'll grab that in a second. Oh, and let's see, how many drawer chests we got? Three. So I need to get rid of three more items. Yeah, I'll probably just use the magic leaf as it increases our magic attack. Uh, is uh, see Poco would actually be a pretty good choice because of his magic. Let's see, 51, 44, but he's a much higher level. And he'll probably eventually make up that magic. Uh, I guess uh, I usually like making just like one magic user really powerful, which I do, but I use Poco more often. Hmm. Yeah, let's give it Poco. Let's just give you a book, the Book of Marin. Oh, we finally. Now, what this item is, it's a shoe exclusive item. And what it does is it basically allows shoe to actually increase his chance of stealing. So if you're trying to find those rare drops from enemies, not like stuff we've already beaten. Although you could do the Arc Academy exchange to give it to an earlier version of shoe to catch them. But this is just to get like rare stuff that's hard to drop if you're looking for rare stuff from like random encounters and stuff like that. But yeah, it increases his. Um, ability to find uh, items while it's stealing. So, but yeah, it says increase item find. So you think uh, the the description what you would think would mean? Oh, we just it, it just means items will drop. No, no, it's for stealing. Just I wish it. I wish it would have said that though. I mean, when I was younger, I thought it, what it meant was you know you could. Uh, uh, let's see. Let's use this rage nut. <laughs> rage nut. Uh, yeah, Lisa could use a little bit more HP. Um, but, you know. <laughs> got another life nut. Okay. Yeah, let's give it to Lisa, why not? And we get the parade coat. Alright. Now, who can equip the parade coat? Who loves a big parade? Oh, I don't, because that's not a great parade. I love a parade. Here are the dump, here are the front. The, 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 I don't remember how the whole song goes. Let's see. I think I'm ready to board. Uh, well, well, let me go back to 37 first. Let me take a look at my notes just to make sure I'm not missing anything. So I think the going to that floor was really the big thing. No, I guess okay. No, I guess we need to go to the ninth floor. I thought I, I thought I might have possibly missed a, missed like a little air extra area or something like that. But nope, that's it. And uh, forty. Oh, I guess I should say what happens on floor forty-four for those who, I don't think I actually said, what uh, happens on that floor. Um, let's see. It's just a yeah. It's a battle with just uh, zombies and robots and summoners and stuff like that. So yeah, nothing. Nothing to worry about. Yeah, I had to double check with. I know it's a random one. It's kind of weird how to get the forty-fourth floor, you have to do that like weird switching of that switch multiple times. So you think it'd be something else other than a battle, but huh? 
Enemies doing bad things. Majesty, the Silver Noah is anchored at the quarry. Excellent. With this surprise assault, our victory is assured. Those buffoons never saw this coming. Never saw the, uh, you know, Queen of Liberty attacking uh, the Smithsonian, but what do I know, right? Activate the Chimera Control Program in Tuville. Yes, sir. Hmm. Looks like uh, Andal's, uh, you know, uh, acting while we're away. So, what do they say? The castle play? Oh, that's going on automatically. It's like, oh, what's happening? What's going on? Uh, blah, stuff like that. Sorry about that. Something's wrong. Well, that guy's acting a freak. What the? Turn some of the villagers to monsters. Uh, it's, it's, it's monsters. Hey, don't leave me with these things. And the poor random villagers. I guess they were Chimera. Didn't know it. Or maybe they did. I don't know. Captain, multiple Chimera have been invaded, have been, been invading the shrine. What? How did they break through Kukuru's barrier? No net break was necessary, Captain. Some of the townspeople of Tuville that were saved were Chimera! The ones we... The ones we... Of course! And Del. Kukuru is defenseless in there. I have to go. Jungara is in your wheel with much fastness, but you go first... Oh, that sounds so vulgar, and I, I don't think that's how he meant it. Be careful. Hurry up! Much fastness in the rear. In your rear. Uh, they knew what they were doing, folks. Uh, oh, so she said something, but it went automatically, so I missed it. Oh, no. Kukuru, the shrine has been invaded by chimeras. You know that I cannot leave this place. Yes, but what should be done? You must flee. I do not look back. I will find a way to stop them. She has powerful magic, right? Oh, Kukuru. I'm sorry. No time for regret. Yeah, she's like, she ran out of here going like a three stooge. Go. Ha, this is the great Kukuru? I was expecting a great soldier, but you're just a frail girl. This will be easier than I expected. Not if I have anything that might about it. Uh, not if I have anything to say about it, freak. <laughs> uh, freak's another like insult that I kind of like when people just say freak. Uh, I can't fight unless I break the barrier. But if I break the barrier, and it will attack. This seems hopeless. What should I do? Oh, Ark. And yeah, she's looking for inspiration. Kukuru, are you all right? Who? Hulk. Sorry, I'm late. You genetic misfits tricked us. Of course, it's easier when your opponents are stupid. And now your idiocy will cost you your lives. Uh oh. Anyway, we gotta select our party members, and yeah, the great thing about like the elk stuff is you can just choose whoever that you didn't choose to go into a tower. So, but in this case, I'm just going to uh, choose uh, the uh, the other group, and obviously Deke. Sorry, Sonya and Gruga. No can do. even though you're well Gruga can be a pretty powerful fighter, but uh, nope. And Kukru? What's this? She's a party member? Yeah, but we don't get to control her, so look at it. She's got really low stats too. She's only got 110 HP and her she's got no MP because she has to take out the barrier. So when I said she never joins the party, I meant it. I mean I mean, okay, so maybe I was being a little loose with it, but we never it's it's story based, like we just had to protect her, so it's I kinda wish we did uh control her. But, uh, but I know reasons why, so. Uh, actually, do I want to go with... I mean, protection would be... Or invincibility would actually be good, too, so. You know, if they tag me instead. Now I'll do protection. Oh, yeah, I guess I should talk about who we're fighting, but I'll, I need to search him first. Oh, we see Kukuru's, like, uh, like, rare, uh animations man she really grew at her actually she did have long hair in the previous one but she took out the ponytail in this case so yeah we don't even know what these monsters are let's find out you freaks uh, Art didn't, uh, i didn't have enough speed to go first otherwise i would have cast him invincibility on him. no yeah i was one shot or yeah you have to be careful with the uh, cooper though Probably what I should have done is I probably should have moved uh, uh, Lisa next to her. And yeah, if I didn't cast protection, by the way, she would have died. Yeah. Uh, 
But anyway, let's see. Yeah, see, she's almost dead. Uh, okay, so Sacred Devils is what, who we're fighting. So they're level 84. They got 42 attack, 42 defense. They're light elementals. They could. They have 266 attack, 108 MP, and let's see. They can also. They can use punch, and they have claws equipped, and they can cast cure and divine judgment lights. So we'll definitely need to make sure to um, cure her on her next turn. Uh, But we'll leave that up to Shantae. Let's see. I got the shotgun, but I only got the the single. Oh, eh. yeah, better stick with them there. Okay. Yeah, that's a very precarious situation there. Let me put back the bastard shot real quick. Actually, let's just do a plasma shock. Try to weaken them. Since we don't have weak enemy here, without weak enemy, without without weak without the weak enemy ability, we're we're useless. We can't hey, we can't cure or heal each other. Yeah. Healed all that damage, and yeah, she doesn't do anything. Oh well. Uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, let's just do divine judgment. Yeah, you were gonna cast on us. Well, I'm gonna cast on you, Chuckles. I was gonna actually let's uh, let's power loss these guys just to make sure Cooper doesn't die again. I was gonna search Cooper before, but <laughs> the one guy I wanted that power loss didn't even uh, get power lost. Boo. Definitely not a fan of enemies that can uh, heal themselves, but I don't think anyone ever is in an ARPG because it's all, it's all that work. Having been been destroyed, you're like, I did all that work. It's not fair. We have time now. Uh, actually, let's do, let's do some explosion over here. Yeah, let's do one slash. Oh. oh, right, I can only do one one slash. No, just do you see your cause trouble. Yeah, your magic isn't that great. Oh, well. Is Cuckoo, like, having a spasm attack when she's, like, gets healed? Yeah. Actually, I could technically happy being Cooper just to help her out a bit, but yeah, I think we got this. And by the way, the reason I'm not doing so much damage with magic, or at least when it comes to Deke Vic, is because it's light and they're light elemental, so that's why I'm not doing as much damage to you guys. But I don't really have much more option on that, so. Oh, I forgot to search Cooper. Not that's really that big of a deal. It's just ah, now you're dead. Turn to a pile of goo. Yeah, thanks for that, actually. So she dodged. Stop punching her. Actually, weren't your AI supposed to be attacking Lisa? Why'd you go after uh, Cuckoo? Hmm. <laughs> Shoot this guy with a shotgun. There we go. Yeah, just keep having Shantae be the healer. That's what she's there for. Oh, come on. Deke will never be able to hit, ever. He is, he is bound by... By the creed of the no-hit. Why do you do this to me, game? I mean, it's not that big of a deal. It's just annoying. It's just annoying, that's all. Man, they just keep going after her. I guess she is, I guess she is a main target. Like, if she's available to hit, then the a AI will go right after her. Oh, 
This game hates everything in my with him, everything in my yeah. life. This fight shouldn't be that hard or taking that long, but I'm just yeah. You know. Then again, this is B team, so. Seriously, I'm magicing it up. I'm magicing it up. I'm trying. I'm trying. Yeah. Eh, yeah, we don't need Uh oh. Well then. Whoops. <laughs> yeah, this is what happens when you die, by the way. Anyway, I'm going to take care of these guys, so I, I forgot to. Uh, protection her because if those guys get a crit which they got really lucky on then but l luckily the g the thing for the game though is that it it's actually a bit of uh, lenient that it lets you just retry it could have easily just gamed over and that was it so but anyway i'll be right back okay i think we're at the last uh character before before we died previously but yeah i just got i just i actually wasn't paying attention and they kind of got lucky they have to fully crit her to do that like that damage that finished her off which and i had all the materials to do that so it was just it was just a case of bad luck so, and like i said i think because of that that's why the game probably lets you uh just continue and try again uh, probably what i should have done at the beginning or during the fight is probably should have uh cast silence on these guys just so they wouldn't keep healing themselves but uh that's one of the things you that's i think that's the reason why i put shanta in the group but i just forgot about it so Oh my god, never, never will hit. There we go. I appreciate that. We saved Kukuru. Yeah, she technically doesn't join our team, so I was right at the beginning. That was close. Yes, thank you. It's okay now, eh? It's okay now, eh? Junker will want to help move faster, but needs to kill Sivanoa. That's a fine excuse. It's good, eh? <laughs> uh, he admits when he's just like that. I'm all right, but I worry about Ark. He'll just trap his emotion. Jungar, we have to go. You have to go, but we have time to share away that something. Yes, yes, Jungar knew a delay driver when I still him. And so much for being a hero in the previous game. Hello, Shopin. Uh, hello, Shopin. Where do you go now? Need to leave now. Kukuru, don't worry about Ark. We're off to help him. All right, be careful, Elk. The world just became much more dangerous. Hmm. What is it Ark up to right now? I mean, it seems to be going to the 99th floor, as uh, I recall. The guy airship. What's the sass of the barrier? No hold snow of yet, sir. Come here, transmissions have stopped as well. Some of Ark's companions are still being detected in Tuville. Ah, well, it was worth a shot. Our main goal was to kill Ark, and we succeeded. Wait, but he's still alive, though. Right about now, he is sinking in the sea with a tower. Set a course for the Meyer Tower. Yes, sir. It's time to enact my glorious plan at last. <laughs> what a fiend. So we're sinking into the uh, tower or something like that? We just don't know any better. Perhaps he's predicting the future. I'd like to think so. That would be entertaining. No choice here but to go up. Ooh, ooh, the top four and a heal. Nice. All right, who waits us at the top there? Well, we kind of already know, but let's let's go inside and pretend not. This is ominous. We've reached the top of the tower and nothing. No, look there. Why does the song have, have finger snaps in it? Ah, uh, so you did not come alone. You disappoint me, son. You are not the father that took me in from the cold. You are mockery of everything that great man stood for. Well, that seems kind of rude. My son, what a cowardly wordsmith you become. What uh, has happened to you? The boy I raised was a master of swordplay. That boy has become a man, and now I am master. I uh, the master. No. So I, <laughs> when I first met you, I was but a paddle one, but now I am the master. 
Or the other joke I'd be like, he must be 40 now because he's a man. We shall sell this man to man as you wished. Tosh, no. Do not try to dissuade me, Ark. I must fight this battle alone. Please do not interfere in the only way. Or it is the only way. It is the way. It is against my better judgment, but I'll honor your wish. Thank you. So I guess he did come here by himself. I see the bloodlust in your eyes, Tosh. My dying regret was that I could not fight you. And now I have been granted the chance. My father would never dream something so wicked. You are not fit to lap my father's excrement. Whoa! You know what you just said, folks. And your words are an insult to his memory. This time has come for me to silence you. Oh, yeah. Your power rises from the anger within you. Do not, do not remember. Anger is powerful but difficult to control. You cannot prevail when your emotions dominate you. Shut up! Well, you know, he's pretty, pretty good at avoiding you. If you will not listen, then watch and learn. I will not use Jibugu Kuzen this time, so you will be free to move. If you fail to dodge my attack, you will die. I am ready. Oh, I guess he did it. I felt power coursing through me. <laughs> you feel strength and renewal flowing through you. Yes, you see, when anger is tempered by calm, you can control your actions. This is the fight I desired. Now it is time for the real battle to begin. Stand ready! But anyway, it's boss time against Morin. I fight for the memory of my true father, not this thing that he's become. But anyway, yeah, you have to fight his Tosh by himself. Hopefully you haven't been put Tosh on the sidelines this whole time. Which, why would you? But anyway, let's, uh, let's see. Uh, <laughs> we should just use that on him, but he's immune to that, so. Yeah, we should probably, we'll probably just finish him off. Actually, what is my, am I getting, getting level? No. I'll leave the instant on. Probably what I should, actually, will I really gain a level for that? I don't think I should. I'll just use a higher a, a, a weapon on this guy. So, yeah, Platinum Edge for the win. No, oh, almost killed him. Or we did kill him. <laughs> oh, uh, I probably should have looked at... Okay, sorry, I actually didn't search his stats. You, I couldn't anyway, because I didn't have Liza. So, uh, Mort uh, Manji is level 80. He's Fire Emblem until he has 195 HP. So, yeah, we basically one-shot him. He has 106 MP, and he basically can do the same thing as Tosh when fighting him. So he could have done Jabukazen and all those other abilities that I almost never use because pure attack is better. That was your best. Mm. Come, Tosh, return with me. What? The dark power is being drawn into me so I can close this chapter. This town and everything in it will be destroyed. Stop, I do not wish to see this. <laughs> you believed yourself victorious? Man, that magic must have really messed him up because he, like, like Tosh said, he wasn't like that in real life. I'm sorry for him. Like, but, uh, yeah, but now he's just crazy about fighting and just destroying towers and stuff. And yet that prize will be snatched from your grasp. Damn, what should... Tosh. Exclamation question mark. Ah, there's the real guy. Father? My son, listen carefully. I cannot break the chains of the Dark One that control my body. Only you can break this curse for me. You must root out the Dark Power controlling my mind. How am I to do that, Father? Manji Slash. You must use the Manji... Did he name an attack after himself? Man. I showed it to you once, remember? Yes. Since it attacks the great po the point where the Dark Power gathers, it should... Shatter the dark power's grip on me. But father, when I attempted it before, I failed. But if I succeed this time, you will... Tosh, I no longer exist in this world. Do not worry about me. I have faith that you will succeed. You must. But father... Tosh, there is little time left. Honor my final request. You must use Monty Slash to kill me. You must use my own attack on me that I made up. It's mine. My name's in... What? What happened? What were you doing? What happened? Da, da, da. It does not matter. Soon we will all perish with this tower. Father. What do you think? You could, you could stop this? Tosh, you have taken leave of your senses. 
We will both die here as the gods intended. Ah, oh, Father, how I wish we could bury another drink together. Or bury. Huh? What are you talking about? Goodbye. What? <laughs> Da, da. Did it work? No! Da, da, da. I am proud of you, son. You did the Monchies slash. Father, you're all right. I never imagined I would be able to see you again. For that, at least I am grateful. I was received because they learned of my secret desire. Or revived, sorry. I don't know why I said received. My secret desire to fight you. They use that dark power to desire to control me. But you, you saved me from my weakness. Thank you. My father, I did not save you. I have slain you. Uh, it's all reticle in this game. Reticle. It's all, it's all the same, really, when you think about it. No, Tosh, you did exactly as you should have. And I have passed on the Manji Slash to you. My life, of course, is now complete. So shouldn't it be called the Tosh Slash at this point? Since, you know, you're dead and he's Tosh. And, you know, Father, this is what they do: turn people into monsters and manipulate their weak minds. They are dangerous, son. May traps lay hid. Be careful. <laughs> you must not leave again, Father. Please. The time has come for me to depart, son. I am so proud of you. Wait. Ah, he's turned to dust, to sand, to sand. You say, Father, Father, why did you go? I had more to tell you. Father! I didn't expect to have Tosh have a scene like this. Tosh inherited the Manji slash from his father. And now call it the Tosh slash because he's just as egotistical as his father. Are you alright? Dot dot dot. Yes. I apologize for making you watch that. Come, we have work yet to do. What work do we have yet to do? Will we be able to be defeat Andil? Will some random, like... A silliness occur that deals with time? Find out next time in the next episode of Ark the Lad 2. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.